Are you ready for some good news? In Christ, we are being transformed by grace so that our lives line up with God's truth. Here's today's text. Now, Absalom, David's son, had a beautiful sister whose name was Tamar. And after a time, Amnon, David's son, loved her, and Amnon was so tormented that he made himself ill because of his sister Tamar, for she was a virgin, and it seemed impossible to Amnon to do anything to her. But Amnon had a friend whose name was Jonadab, the son of Shemiah, David's brother, and Jonadab was a very crafty man. That's 2 Samuel 13, 1 to 3. The dark, heart-wrenching story of Amnon's toxic attraction to his sister Tamar typifies how twisted human desire can become. But there's an answer in the gospel. God's word isn't designed to curb toxic attractions. It is purposed to transform desire itself. We had a beagle, a hound dog, who is a, a hunter of mice, squirrel, and other vermin, and every now and then he'd bring one of those prizes into the house. One day, I barely opened the door to the sunroom, and the smell just hit like an awful wave. Something was dead in that room, and my biggest challenge in getting rid of that dead thing was going to be the dog himself. He was convinced that he had delivered a wonderful treasure. While well, I tried to remove, remove the putrid thing from the corner of the room, I was fighting off my own hound dog who was trying to sniff, lick, grab, and run with it. Uh, somehow this thing that so repulsed me actually smelled good to the dog. If left to his own devices, he probably would roll around on top of the thing for the sheer delight of smelling like it. It made me wonder how the things we're attracted to smell to God. It's quite possible for us to be convinced that the wrong thing is the right. Deceit can become a way of life when our minds and souls are totally focused on getting some seeming treasure that's lacking. God wants to give us a new sense of smell. He wants to enable us to perceive reality differently. If you're addicted to something or if you're stuck in a particular sin, the truth will set you free. You get free when the truth you had exchanged for a lie is converted. When we're living in truth, death will smell like death. And life will smell attractive. We don't get converted in just one moment when we first accept Christ. We're being converted. We are transformed daily, seeing the truth more and more by the light of Jesus. And that's the gospel. That's today's daily devotional. And you can find this and better yet, today's full radio broadcast, all for free at sharingthelight.org. Thank you.